The Ad Show. Yes, boys! We are back. And yeah, we have a 10 sales in definitely not 10 minutes video. Uh, it started off about a year ago as 10 sales in 10 minutes. And then it was 10 sales probably in 10 minutes. Then it was 10 sales in 10 minutes if Adam doesn't do any rambling. And now it's... 10 sales in definitely not 10 minutes. So that's where we're at now with these, with this sort of series of videos. Also, before we get going, um, someone tagged me in that 19 question thing. Obviously, by the time this video goes up, I'll probably have already been tagged anyway because everybody loves me and everyone's going to tag me. It's going to be so good. Um, but yeah, I really want to um, talk about myself on that video. I'm just gonna, it's a big ex it's about it's a big excuse to talk about myself for 20 minutes. What what better reason? What better excuse do I I have to talk about myself so yeah someone tag me in that uh, and I'll talk about myself for 20 minutes and I get paid for I get like five dollars in ad revenue so yeah someone tag me in it I'm just honest you know I, I want to talk about myself and I want to get paid for talking about myself so I'm you know I'm, I'm not going to deceive anyone I'm just honest I'll just say yeah that's what I want so someone tag me in it please please I'm hanging to do it. So anyway, with that being said, let's get on with sales um, and see what I've got to share with you this week. Now, this week has been an odd one. The start of the week, it was brilliant. It really was. And then the latter part of the week, it's kind of tailed off a little bit. In fact, at the end of the week, well, we're not actually, well, we are at the end of the week now. We're on Sunday today. But I mean, the end of the working week, sort of Friday, Thursday, Friday, really, really did tail off and really, really did dip. Uh, but the start of the week was pretty decent, pretty good, pretty strong. So, you know, up and down, up and down, you know. It's not, as I've mentioned before, quarter four is... Uh, a different beast this year. It feels very different, uh, especially with the uncertainty in this country with politics and all the rest of it as well. It is going to be a bit more uncertain. People are going to be maybe a little bit more restrictive, although saying that, I do see a lot of Christmas shoppers out and about, and I do see a lot of shoppers out and about with bags under their arms and stuff, so you can't really predict it, can you? But anyway, so first off, we've got this Fran... 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 Sis... Franciscan. I was, I was trying, I was like, what? Franciscan? Franciscan's, Franciscan scan? Right, no. Franciscan, uh, I guess that's somewhere in Italy, I don't know. That's my default country whenever I don't know where something's from. I always say, oh, that's in Italy. Um, Franciscan, uh, Orient Ceramic Dynasty Collection Floral Pizza Plate. Now, if you don't know, these are nice little floral pizza plate plates or also the pizza plates with... I don't know, maybe little recipes on or something like that. They do okay. You know, they're bread and butter items and they always seem to go. This one in particular was a nice big one, a nice large one, very, very flat as you would imagine. And this went for $14.99 plus postage. Now, um, the other ones that kind of have maybe a little bit of a recipe on it, obviously it depends which brand they're from or, or which makers they're from. But normally you get about $12.99 plus, plus your postage for, for them. I really don't know what I paid for this. I think this was in an auction job lot, so it's only going to cost me one or two quid. Two quid, absolute maximum. Most probably less than a quid, to be honest. But as you know on this channel, I always, when I get these items from job lots, I always overstate the individual cost. So that then I'm not saying, you know, I'm, or I'm not kind of marking it as under what I paid. Uh, I always like to go over as an estimate, just so that then um, I'm being honest with you guys and uh, you can know exactly the maximum it's going to have cost me so yeah maximum two quid but probably cost me way less than that to be honest in in an individual uh auction job lot so yeah uh 14.99 on that one nice little plate there nice floral design plate so that is that one next we've got something my favorite i know some of the new people to the channel might not know but over the course of the years i have always uh been picking these fat lava west german ceramics vases up 60s and 70s stuff and every time i pick them up in haul videos i I've always said I love them and how, how much I really do like these things. Um, they're just quirky, different, interesting. Um, and obviously there you can see kind of at the bottom of the vase here. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this here. But at the bottom of the vase, it kind of tails off like lava. Um, now, I don't know whether that's exactly how they got the name. I would assume it was. Um, because you can see on quite a lot of the pieces, it's, you know, there's that kind of running down the, the side of the vase like lava on the kind of designs. Um, but yeah, 14 99 plus my postage on this one. In fact, I don't know. This one might have um, actually came in at 12 74 because I did send a load of offers to watch for like 10%. Um, or was it... No, it was 20%. It was 20%. Was it... Was it 10% or 20%? 
But something's anyway. Something's telling me I sold this for twelve seventy four. I looked on my my you know my orders dashboard and stuff, and uh, I'm pretty sure they said twelve seventy four. But you know what eBay's like when I'm doing these sales updates. Sometimes they put the original cost here rather than the actual updated cost that it sold for. But something's saying I did sell this for twelve seventy four plus my postage. I think I paid uh, three quid in the charity shop for this specific one. It may have come from, from an auction job lot, but I do think this one actually did come from a charity shop. And as, as I say, about three quid for that one. And you see, we've got the little numbers on the bottom. And that little dash, and then when it says 18, I've explained this so many times, but I know there's new people to the channel, so I may as well explain it again. That little 523, remember dash, where it has the dash and then the number 18, that is actually the height of the piece in centimetres. So they marked on all of the pieces of fat lava on that last number there, the actual height of the pieces, which is really cool because it means you don't have to measure them. However, you can see I've measured it here and the, the angle of the photo is slightly, um, it's sort of slightly down. So it looks like it's 19 centimetres there, but if I was maybe slightly more central with my phone when I was taking that photo, you would see that actually it was 18 centimetres. So I do put in the description as well um, the the actual measurements and also I do put sometimes in the description for these fat lava um, the fact that on the bottom of the piece it does actually state the um, actual height in centimetres. So yeah, that's that one there anyway. Next, we've got this How and Why Motorcycle Design Technology Official Aprilla Transportation Book. I got this in, I believe this was in an auction job lot again with possibly a load of other books. Wouldn't have paid a lot for it really. And uh, yeah, you can see that I got twenty four ninety nine for that one. Free per oh no, I didn't. I got twenty. I got £21.24 uh, of this, I just remember from looking on the orders page. As I said, some of these items uh, have either gone on offers or, um, I don't know, reductions and stuff. So I'm going to have to be careful because I am going to have to remember since eBay isn't putting them in there. But yeah, this one did go for £21.24 on an offer or on a reduction or whatever it may have been. So yeah, that one, £21.24, not the £24.99 you can see there. So that's that one. Now, Next, this did sell for the 12 99 this one. Picked this up from the car boot not long ago, literally about a week or two ago, not long at all, for £1. And it's this prickly pile-up game, hedgehog game, brand new and sealed, twelve ninety nine um, sale price, so nice little margin in that. I don't know, maybe seven quid or something profit, possibly a little bit more, maybe eight quid. Um, but yeah, nice little margin on that and a nice quick flip uh, from only a week or two ago. So yeah, nice quick flip from a quid as well there. So next we've got this vintage Monera Jewish Hanukkah uh, metal candlestick holder. Um, now I've got 39.99 plus post with this, nice little sale there. This doesn't owe me anything. I bought a job lot from the auction for £10 plus commission for a load of uh, Moneras or Jewish stuff, uh, silver plate stuff, um, and I actually sold one of them and that got me into profit and some. Um, so yeah, uh, 39.99 plus posting on this. After posting and fees, this is going to be all profit. So, yeah, really, really happy with that one. Nice, interesting, different item. Next, Vintage Twinkle 1979, special, especially for little girls, hardback children's book. 9 95 free postage, nothing special on this. Um, but actually, I'm in profit again on this from the auction job lot that came in. I did get these in auction job lots. So, yeah, I'm in profit on that. So, again, after postage and fees, that is going to be pure profit, as I say, after postage and fees. So, yeah, that's fine. Again, something else that is pure profit after posting fees is this Marvel Superhero Squad double figure pack Wolverine and Sabretooth. Uh, $12.99 plus my postage. Again, pure profit after posting fees. I actually got a load of stuff for free off one of my dad's friends who just wanted rid of it. He had a load of sealed figures and stuff and he kindly gave it to me for free. I've said this story so many times. Um, and I offered to give him some money for it, but he wouldn't take any. So I would got them for free, basically. So yeah, pure profit after posting fees on that one. So again, another item that is all gravy, basically, which is awesome. Again, another item that is pure profit after posting fees. Believe it or not, I mean, we just have four items there, but I'm in profit on the job lots and stuff. But yeah, I'm in profit on the job lot. This came in these two figures. So I got 9 95 plus my postage for these. It's a cigarac, a, a cigarac, or a cigarac. I can never pronounce it. I think it's a cigarac, or no, it's not a cigarac, is it? Cigarac. 
Sigorax. Anyway, I've never had to say that uh, monster's name that much, but I mean it's Sigorax. There's a Sigorax there, there's a Jadoon, there's the editor, and there is Chip as well, who was Cassandra's servant in uh, New Earth, wasn't it? I don't think he was in the... the, the, the uh, what was it called? The End of the World or something in Series 1. Um, but yeah, so pure profit after posting fees on that one as well. So can't complain there. Can't complain on quite a few of these sales today. Uh, next, we've got these vintage handcrafted pair of wooden candlesticks raised with three ball legs. Now, I'll leave it to your imagination, but what do those things look like to you? It seems pretty obvious what they look like to me. It is quite funny, actually. Um, I shared these on the picking orders video, so uh, you will have seen these already, but I did decide just to put these in here again. Uh, I just thought they were quite funny, and I couldn't leave them out of the sales update. So, $24.99 plus postage. These came in a wooden job lot. As an individual cost out of the auction job lot, probably only going to cost me about a maximum of £2. So yeah, 2 quid into 25 quid. Can't complain on that. Lovely little margin. Uh, nice little items there. But yeah, they do look a bit funny as well if you were to have a, a little bit of a vivid imagination or a little bit of a, uh, a certain look towards them, I suppose. Um, but yeah, 24 99 on those. And then finally, we've got this vintage Rose Alton built. I think it's built more cylindrical, posy style thin ceramic vase. It's almost, I don't know whether the term is tapered at the top. I'm not sure really. Um, but yeah, I didn't get 19 99 for this. I got 16 99 for this plus postage. Must have gone on one of the offers that I sent out or something like that. I actually got this for free. My mum had it. I don't know. She must have had it for years or something. And then she gave it me and she said, I've got this. Do you want to sell it? Uh, and I said, yeah, I'll sell it. So... Yeah, I got that for completely free. I'm gonna have to give my mum some money out of. Af, af, I'm gonna have to give my mum some money out of that sale. I feel like I should do anyway because it was her item. She did just give it to me. She didn't want any money for it. She didn't want me to give her any money from the sale or anything. But you know, I've got to give her something for it. So yeah, that one sold there for $16.99 plus postage. And that was interesting that that sold for a fair little bit. I didn't think it would be worth that much. I mean, I know it's Royal Dalton and everything, but a lot of Royal Dalton stuff aren't, isn't worth what it once was. Especially a lot of the series where and the character mugs and you know Toby jugs and all that sort of stuff. A lot of Royal Dalton stuff just isn't. So that was interesting that just for such a small piece there, um, I got yeah, you know, $16.99 plus postage. That was interesting. So, yeah, that was that one. And that is all the sales that I'm going to share with you here today. So, thank you very much for watching. If you, have, if you haven't already, then please do subscribe. Also, if you haven't already, then please do consider clicking the like button. It helps me out quite a lot. If you have any comments, questions, or queries, as always, whack them down below. And I will see you in the next one. So, I will see you very soon, guys. Watch it, I slow down.